Hi guys, how are you today? So today I found this question on a engine forum and this guy wants to do something like this. So he has this kind of effect that has muzzle, particle and ground, multiple elements and he wants to spawn that single effect multiple times like this in a triangular form from here to here. So I have already created this uh, and see I have two effects. This one is uh, using event I created. And the right one is I use the component render. So I have that single effect that I am spawning multiple times. So let's check it out how I create it. So first thing, uh, if you guys want to create effect like this, like you have one single effect and you want to spawn it like this in a conical shape like this or other shapes. So you have to check this for week ago tutorial animate shape location, how to animate shape location so you can see this con shape here okay so we can create this kind of thing in this tutorial so this is six minutes okay so i'll do that again so there are two ways to do it first you can use event handler second you can use component render first we will see event handler okay so inside my folder let's create a new folder multiple effects how to spawn multiple effects so let's take this and i'll just delete this and i don't know why today my shares are compiling all together and i'll just make the lighting a little dark and also so this is big enough so we can check okay so first thing let's say you have you have to create this kind of effect or any effect like in this one we have flash we have some green particles and that something on ground so i'll just quickly create that so let's take a niagara and inside this uh, i'll call it fx uh, mother or you can call it flash so this is my flash effects okay so in this inside this let's take a new emitter and i'll take the fountain and this will be our ground glow okay so or maybe first let's create a flash this is our flash okay so i'll i'll just delete these things i don't want and i just want maybe one or two particles let's say you have, you want to just spawn one particle and i'll just take a flash material i have already so let's say i'll use this one it is sharp but it's okay okay and let's say i don't want any randomization because i, I have this one particle let's say 100 okay and this is randomly rotated that's okay that's fine so we can make this like a little bright and I'll make the life uh, like 0.2. So we will have a flash and that's it. After flash, I just copy this and paste. And these are sparks. So these are sparks. Cool. So in this spark, I'll just spawn multiple particles, maybe 10. And instead of this, I'll just delete this and sorry. I'll just take this again. So you'll have this thing and then i'll just take a velocity from gone and let's say 100 and axis will be three and i'll use velocity align here and here i will make the size like two one and three and ten okay and i'll just increase the velocity and also the angle so we will have we have this we have some sparks let's make a spark little more reddish okay and you can increase the life or you can randomize at least for it so we have this you can stretch it even more like this much so we have these two things i think velocity is too high let's and I'll just drag it here so it will just spawn again and again. Cool. And now the next thing I'll just copy this flash and I'll make this glow. 
first thing i'll delete this and i'll take this again so it will have a sprite and then i want to align it on the ground so i'll just use this thing and custom alignment custom facing vector and i'll take the align on mesh orientation and i'll take the z axis so we have this uh, i will not make that much bright this one and maybe 60 and 0.3 so we have this effect although flash can be half like this but it's okay when you will put it on the ground it it's okay it will be like half okay and we just make 0.1 so we have this effect cool uh, i think i want to change this flash i don't like it much yeah this one is better yeah this one is better and let's make it also one bit big right little bigger so we have this cool flash cool so now what i want first let's create a particle system like this this blue and then we can use this thing to spawn on each particle let's drag it here and i'll just copy this flash here and let's call it flowers i'll just isolate this one so i have just this thing and i'll delete this and take a sprite again so i will have that radial let's make the size two or three anything and also i'll make it blue so we can recognize that this is that source okay instead of burst i'll take the spawn rate maybe 100 and now here i'll take the uh, you can take lots of uh, things but let's take uh, let's take shape location and then take the slender location so you can see particle spawning on slender if i just increase the spawn rate just to show you it's a slender right we can decrease the height of slender and the the radius and we can also rotate it so if i just take this now it's rotated okay and after that we can also scale it on any axis so if i scale it on x it will be flat after doing this let's increase the uh, height after doing this let's stop this we have one thing let and if i delete this and make this like this it will be a cone and you can of course increase this cone size from here so if i'll make this three so you have this thing and also you can set the pivot so now this pivot is here so it's creating from here so now we have this radius and we have also the uh, we have radius and height both thing so now you can animate both so let's say you want to use 250 height and 50 radius and if i take the curve here and i'll just take the edge this is the main part you may, you have to take these three uh, ammeter edge loop edge or any of these if you are animating something in a spawn particle you have to use these things so let's say if i take the edge okay and now i just want from 0 to 250 and i'll just copy this curve and paste it on the radius and on the radius this will be just 50. so if i now play from starting see our shape is creating like these blue one okay you can of course decrease the spawn rate that was just to showcase you and I think I want to change also the uh, this thing. Uh, maybe two fifty, maybe bit radius, maybe eight or hundred, like this. Now let's uh, let's use these thing to spawn. So first thing you have to do is when you want to spawn, so. If you take the location that will keep spawning so i will just take the death so if i take the death generate death event and let's make the life like 0.1 okay 
And when you take this node your module, you have to tick here on the persistent ID, right? So now the source is creating the generating the death event. So when they are killing, it should spawn. Okay, these things. So let's do it. So first we will use the spawn uh, flash. So I will just isolate both. And in the flash, just take the event handler and take the death, spawn one, and let's move it here. And I'll take the receive death event, and that's it. Okay. I'll make the very and also decrease this. So this is spawning on a multiple places. Okay. And I'll just make this one and once. It will just spawn once. Cool. And now the second thing is uh, the spark, but spark should be multiple. So what I'll do, I'll just take this uh, event handler and I'll take the that event on and now i can use like 10 particles and i just have to delete the turn this off and then take the receive that and that's it and if i just check there are sparks also there and the last thing here the glow glow will be the same like the flash so just take the event handler that on once and receive that event and turn this off from here and i'll also make the yeah everything's fine so one thing you can do this if i drag and uh, let's make it one so you can see if i take pause from here particle spawning in a triangular way you can increase the height and everything you want. Like if I make this like 500. See, they're spawning like this. So this is this is, was the event handler. And now let's try the other thing. So I'll just save this. And let's also rename this event. And now let's I'll delete this from here and I'll just duplicate this and I'll call it effects flash and just flash and inside this I'll delete the source and we have this so I will delete the this thing so we have again this thing and I'll just use these things so it's again spawning flash right but I just want to spawn once. So it will just happen once. Okay. This is once. Okay. So we have this effect now. So now how to use uh, it in component render. I'll save this. Uh, let's save this. And I'll duplicate this event again because it has that source. And I'll call it FX source component render. Yeah. Or just leave it. In this one, I'll delete all these three and we have just the source. I don't need this also. Okay. Instead of this, uh, if I increase the size, we have these blue particles and I'll increase the spawn rate and you can also increase the life if you want. Okay. So now instead of these blue particles, I want to spawn that flash. So I'll just turn this off and I'll take the component renderer. And inside this, you have to search the Niagara source, Niagara component. And here, you have to pick your flash, which is the full effect. I'll just pick that here. And also, I'll just open that flash from here and make this local also. So now you have this. And if I drag this here in the viewport, not this one actually, this source. I'll just simulate and let's make this also. 
one more thing you are spawning too many particles in the source but here we have a limitation so let's make this 100 and also this thing like 20 okay so now it will create that triangle because the particles are very limited so it's not making that proper if you make this 100 and you increase that thing here so it will make triangle you can see that but there's one more thing if you want exactly same alignment of particle there are ways to do it uh, but you can also spawn it on a geometry that has vertexes like this so you can also do that i guess so yeah yes you can do that so these are the two ways that we have discussed today event handler and component render cool so that's it i hope this was helpful